is God good? Hallelujah. Thankful that I'm still alive. We talked about it this morning with the young people, but you can look at all these millionaires and all these rich people and be like, oh my goodness, living for the living for God is you gotta live broke. I mean. That's how you can think. But David said in Psalm 73, until I came into the house of God, then I understood therein. I understood why I'm doing this in the first place. All right, never mind. Some of y'all still charismatic with it. You know, everything you touch going to be gold. But hey, look, I'm about to walk on gold. I don't want it in my pocket. I'm about to own it. It's all right. I give honor to my bishop and, you know, the the people of God, all of you, my beautiful wife, you know, she is, uh, you know, she's awesome. She keeps me in line. Well, she tries to at least. But Psalms chapter 23, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Why wouldn't you want to lie down in green pastures? First off, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I'm going to talk to us just a little bit briefly about God's positioning system, right? God's positioning system. You can be seated. So we're going to briefly, in about five minutes, I'm going to talk to you about something that we all hate And, you know, if any of you have been on road trips, you know you hate it. And that's that wonderful, great invention that is the cause of so many accidents. That is that GPS. (laughs) Hallelujah. Right? But how the GPS works is your device gets a signal from a satellite. Right? And that satellite communicates with the device to let it know where you are and where you're moving towards based on the map that's been uploaded into this device. I mean, simple, right? I mean, it's more complex than that, but that's basically what it is, right? So, you know, when you're driving somewhere, you put in your destination, where you want to go, and it lets you know, based on where you are, how long it's gonna take you to get there. Some of them let you know if you're gonna experience traffic, Right, But then it does this thing. If you drive and make a turn down the road, it says, at the next chance, make a U-turn. Right? Or it'll, you know, it'll tell you, you know, at the next possible chance, make a U-turn. Right? And then you're like, shut up. Dang, I know where I'm going. Right? I can see it right there. And it's like, no, make a U-turn. Then you wonder, why did it make me go this way when I could have just went like, you know, yeah, our, our lovely device, right? Some of us put that little British accent up there because we want to seem fancy, you know, or as Pastor Bembry says, it mispronounces words like Jamestown is now Jamez Town, so, uh, you know, or Jamez Town, whatever it says, but, you know, it, it mispronounces some things. But, you know, it never, the GPS will never, ever stop giving you what turns to make unless you turn it off, right? Whatever the destination that you put in, it is gonna constantly be trying to redirect you to get you to the place that you said that you wanted to go. Now sometimes, for some of us, it'll be stay on this for the next 197 miles, right? You coasting. Some is take this exit in two miles. For most of us, it's take that U-turn. You missed the exit. Right. But I want to talk about God's positioning system. Every time we enter into the house of God, it's wonderful. You know, we sing songs to try to get us unified together in one mind so the Holy Spirit can move just like it did on the day of Pentecost. You can't be scattered. So that's what songs are for, to help unite us. Okay, Right. And then we do that thing we all love. We reach so deep in our pocket and pay our offering. Right. We love that. That's our, that's our chance to respond to the worship that they have sung and, you know, led us up to. But it all comes down to the one point, one of the most important part of your entire week is when 
the man of God steps behind the pulpit, whoever that is, is in tune with God or the device in tune with the satellite that's going to tell you what the next turn you need to make in order to get to your destination that you want to get to, which is heaven. For some of us, it's going to be make a U-turn. You're going the wrong way. For some of us, stay the course. You're on the right path. Your exit is not here yet. But ultimately, sometimes we get so upset at the GPS because we made the wrong turn. But every time God is saying that he makes us to lie down in green pastures, he knows exactly where you are according to the roadmap that we have, which is his written word, right? He has a man of God in place over this church, Bishop Blankenship, who is no doubt, if I've ever seen somebody in tune with the satellite, in tune with God, I mean, it's him. You ought to be thankful for that. A lot of people out there got the blind leading the blind. Okay. My time's up. (laughs) I want to say in the next few moments. (laughs) Y'all heard it. Erase that clock. Right? (laughs) So in the next few moments, we're going to go through our order of disturbance, but I want you to pay very close attention every time you enter into the house of God. It doesn't matter who the person is that steps behind this pulpit. It matters if they're in tune with God. And if they're in tune with God and in tune with the word of God, then when they speak, we need to heed to what they're saying because some of us is going to tell us what turn to make and we'll miss it and go round about another way and wonder why it's taking so long for me to get to that blessing that God has promised. But you may have just missed the turn that he told you to take or maybe he's talking to you about something you're going to deal with later down the road and there's traffic jams ahead and we may have to detour you, but you've got to learn how to trust in God's positioning system. Amen? Be blessed, church. I love you all.